hey 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 everyone welcome and welcome back to the channel so today i'm just doing some channel updates um i did not stream today which is sunday because i have been sick for the past couple of days um you can still kind of hear it and my voice uh i do feel slightly better but um not well enough to hold up um, for a live stream. So I didn't really do, well, I didn't do any coloring today, actually. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and I wanted to update you guys on some things that I am going to be working on on the channel. So for starters, um, I'm going to get this out of the way first, just in case um, some of you are not really interested in the channel updates. Um, I'm going to show you my little haul. I did get some more paints from Target, and I got seven this time. Uh, they were on sale for like a dollar, I think, dollar forty-five or something like that. So, I got... Um, a stretchy wetsuit and I got all satin I didn't get any um they didn't have any like shimmer ones or anything when I went this time so um I got this is stretchy wetsuit and I hope you guys can see okay um my lamp did blow out on me on um geez what day was that I do believe it was Thursday so I've been with my older desk lamp and it's not the greatest, but um, I also got hot chili pepper and I'll show you guys the swatch here. So this is like a nice red. I got fancy gold fish. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is kind of like a golden yellow. I got leafy greens which is a nice green. And I got a lighter green called Juicy Kiwi. I don't know if this is too bright or... Okay. Juicy Kiwi. Hopefully, um, it's not too bright. Uh, Snowy Orchid, which is a nice purple, which um, I kind of think it is similar, if not the same, to uh, the Violet. They just call it Violet. Uh, so I might have two bottles of this. It looks similar, but that's okay. I can always give one away. Um, and then I also got Snowy, Snow Flurry, which is basically just white. And I did swatch them here. So there's that purple I was talking about. And it's also very, like, weird. I don't know, some, something, but... There's the stretchy wetsuit, which I like. It's a nice dark blue. Um, and this one's pretty opaque, too. And then there's the snow flurry. I do love the goldfish color. The hot chili pepper color is nice. They're all pretty nice. I don't really like how this one turned out. I don't know if it's because I used too much water or if it's too much water in it. I'm not sure. But those are the colors that I got. So... Let me move forward with channel updates now that that's out of the way. So I have a, um, a series that I would like to work on. And basically it's going to be completing a book with you guys. But it's kind of like a no rush type of thing. Because it's going to be multiple different books. And it's... It's more like I will be finishing pages with you guys in books, but I probably will be rotating things around a lot. So I'm not really sure what to call the series just yet because um, some of them it's completing the book and some of them is just kind of like to unwind and complete a page. So to better explain... I'll show you an example. So I have some books here. So for example, um, 
I think the series, I'm going to call it Let's Complete. And basically, I'm going to choose a page. And so, for example, it'll be Let's Complete a Mandala, right? So that'll be like one example. And I'll pick a mandala and we will complete. I'll do a video completing that mandala and I will probably choose a color palette for most of these uh from the uh whoo, who's it from Sarah Renee Clark maybe the color cube lady um I have the the pdf version so I'll probably choose one and then we will complete a page so it'll be different series so one will be like let's complete a mandala so i have two books so if you want to you know follow along the two books that i will be choosing from because i really don't have um a lot of mandala books so mandalas and patterns will be in the same thing and everything i'm telling you here in this video i am going to create a newsletter a newsletter for in the facebook group so if it's not making sense now i'll i'll make it make sense in the newsletter so basically the series is going to be broken down to categories so it'll be easy basic you know advanced chaotic mandalas patterns you know things like that so the title it will tell you what we're doing so it'll be let's complete a mandala you know i'll tell you what materials i'm going to be using which book which page and then i'll do the video so i do have um 100 animal mandalas which um i this is one of the books that i did want to complete um this one's by camelia and jacova so I have this one, and then I also have her 59 time mandalas. I think I have one going in here. It is a whip. I was using gel pens and I think super tips, and I don't remember the colors. So I might have to figure something out, or I might just leave this page for now because there's a lot of glitter going on, and I don't know what I was thinking. But I do have one completed, but um, so right here I have it written down. Let's complete a book. This is going to be mandalas and patterns. Same thing as inside of this one. Um, I have quite a few done in here. Nowhere near the, the whole book, but I do have some done. Some of them are just markers. Most of them are just markers, alcohol markers. This one's in pencil. So, um, you know, I will choose a page, etc., etc. Um... Another one that I have chosen for mandalas slash patterns is actually going to be, um, I keep wanting, her name is not Lizzie, Millie Marotta Island Escape book. And I just knocked over like all of my, um, out, not alcohol markers, all of my paint markers got knocked over somehow. Um. This one, I'm putting it under patterns and mandalas because she has a lot of like line patterns in her books. So I do have two whips in here. I have this one and then I have, I do, I think I have two. Yeah, two. This one I was doing with um, water-based markers, but I'm going to go over it in pencil. So it looks a little shady right now, but that's okay. And I don't really remember what colors I was using, so I might guess. Uh, it looks like I was using Artezas, but I don't really know what colors exactly. But anyway, um, so these are the three that I have for patterns in mandalas category. Um, for the easy category, I chose Matchstick Mouse, the summer coloring book. Um, so for this one, I'll probably just use alcohol markers and maybe Prismacolors over the top. And this one's in the easy category because they're all really small circular images that can be done really quick.
Um, this is, I'm putting this one in the basic category because it's not too hard and it's not too, you know, easy. So I figured this one was, this one is okay. I should probably flip it this way because the light is on that way. But, um, the images are not hard in this one at all. So I figured... You know, but they're not exactly easy either. So I figured this would be okay for basic. Um, I may add another one. These are just some examples. So if you want to join in, you know, um, you can kind of get a heads up of what's going on. And I have some here that are under advanced as well. I might put Luna under basic because these are detailed but they're not really crazy um either so i might put this one under basic depending on the images i choose and that's even if i choose this one because i don't know if i want to complete this whole book but we'll see but i do just have like a couple of books out as an option um i did i was also looking at um where did it go? Enchanted Earth was another option that I might put under either Advanced because this one is pretty detailed. So I might put this one under Advanced. And then I have a category where it's like chaotic. So like, and I chose two for that one. And I chose the Manic Botanic because look at this i mean just look at it so it's definitely chaotic there's a lot of trying to figure out what lines go where and um it's not as easy as it looks and it doesn't even look easy and then i have um lizzie that's why i was calling um millie Murata lizzie because i do have a lizzie uh cullen book um anyway this one, I have a whip in here. It's kind of weird looking. I don't know. I think this is when I first got my ink tints and I was trying to uh, be cool and I didn't know what I was doing. But um, I did cho choose this one for chaotic too because there's a lot of swirling lines and things like that. And so for the chaotic ones, obviously, um, they're going to take a little bit more time. So, you know, there it won't be a full page done in one video. The chaotic ones and the advanced ones will probably be, you know, in multiple videos. And then the ones like the easy and maybe even the basics and the patterns, those can probably be completed in one video. So that's my plan for that. Um, look out for those soon because I am going to start recording, um, some of those soon. So look out for that. Um, let me just see here if I missed anything else as far as that goes. As far as the materials go, it will, I'll probably keep it basic to like, you know, alcohol markers, Prismacolors, polys. Because if someone is following along, I want them to be able to, you know, use things that most people have. So I won't probably use anything too crazy. Um, and if I do, then it will be under, like, advanced and above. Um, my Patreon page is getting an overhaul. Uh, I am adding things to it and... Um, some of the let's finish a page over on Patreon, I'm going to have like let's finish a book. So for books that I know I want to finish, like for example, Kirby's Mythomorphia, for my paid Patreon members, I'm going to be doing let's finish Mythomorphia over on Patreon. So there will be special videos for that, special color combos and all of the nine over there for that also on patreon i have added free for everyone my new 
Special Combos Print Sheet. So this is a blank color combo sheet. And what I intend these to be used for is if you have, let's say, different color combinations for specific things such as like metal, like metal objects, um, you can put those different types of metals or different color combos for metals on one sheet or two sheets or however many sheets you need. Um, I, I did six on each page and I left space at the bottom for notes or any other things that you need to write down. You can put at the top, you know, let's say these are, you know, let's just keep using metal. For example, you can write color combos for metals. You can put here up top, you know, what pencils you're using or what type of metal. So if you want it to be like silver or brass or, you know, bronze or something like that, you can, there's space to write that there. There's space to write the combo, the pencil's name and number. You can even do a little swatch next to it. And then you would color the combo inside the circle. Um, for, it, and it, again, it's, it's a PDF, so you print it out yourself, and it is free for everyone over on my Patreon. So my Patreon is always linked in the bottom description box of all my videos. So I made it free for everyone, the blank ones. Now, if you are a paid Patreon member, keep a lookout because I am going to be uploading PDF versions of... They're going to be pre-filled out with my combos for certain things. So um, keep a lookout for that. That is That part is going to be for pay, Patreon members only. But the blank one is free for anyone. So you can download it. You can print it. Enjoy it. Have fun. Um, but my Patreon is going to be getting a nice overhaul. And anything... Um, that my Patreon members, my paid Patreon members are getting, my paid YouTube members will also get, um, I'm getting really close to unlocking YouTube memberships. So anything Patreon members get, YouTube members will get. And eventually, um, once I unlock YouTube membership, I'll see how that works. And if I like it better, then I'll just kind of phase out Patreon and just use YouTube memberships to keep everything in one place. And then I will just do like the uploads, you know, the PDFs and things like that. I'll just keep that over on Patreon because I don't know if I can do that for YouTube. So, um, again, it is free for everyone. So enjoy this nice little printout I made. Uh... If you would like to see me kind of show you guys how to use it, let me know down in the comments and I'll do a little video on that. Um, I would print it out on some good paper if you're going to use like markers or something. And that way, you know, it will take it. Or watercolor paper if you want to, if you have watercolor combos for things. Um, so let's see, what else am I missing? Oh. Um, if you did not catch the last live stream, um, last Sunday or whenever that was, I did a live stream. I do have a new puppy. His name is Yuki. Y-U-K-I. I want to thank everybody who donated to help me get a new puppy. And, um, everyone who donated and supported, um, you know, for things that went towards Mizu as well. Um, we are still getting Mizu's memorial together. Uh, we are holding off on doing the memorial until most of the bills are paid off. And then, um, you know, we're at the same time setting up her, um, altar area as well, which is coming along pretty nice, actually. Um, my mom, she sent some nice frames so we can put some, you know, pictures of her inside the frames. And um, a lot of people have written nice little notes for her. And it's coming along really nicely. But um, the new puppy, he's eight months. And 
right now he is um asleep under my desk he is a character let me tell you um he we left him alone on friday and yesterday which was saturday friday he did great he did amazing he didn't get into anything he was a perfect little angel yesterday he got into every piece of paper imaginable um and the interesting thing is he didn't eat any of it or anything like that he just likes to play with it so he played with paper and plastic and also his toy so my living room was a total wreck when I came home but other than that um he's actually pretty good he's been pretty good so far um we're teaching him his name and you know teaching him the basic things that he was not taught that he should have been taught but he was not so right now he's just getting the lay of the land and getting used to us and things like that so um he is sort of camera shy. Anytime I try to get a decent picture of him or something, he will turn away. So once he gets used to us and gets used to everything, he will have his own little announcement video. But um, every time I try to record him, he, he walks away. So he doesn't really like the camera. So bear with me on announcing him, you know, visually. But I will give you an actual, you know, verbal announcement that um we do have or I do have a new puppy um so that is all for channel updates uh I think hopefully I'm not forgetting anything and I will see you guys in the next video um which should be some kind of um, let's color video. I do want to see how well that they do. If they do well, I'll keep doing it. If not, then, you know, I will kind of limit it. I'm just seeing what, what you guys like and so on and so forth. So I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching. Bye now.